so after uh, kind of taking a look at my garden bed there and seeing how sandy it is and knowing that there's supposed to be, of course, wind tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and do the irrigation first. I had originally planned to lay down compost and get one of the beds ready, but I'm going to set up the irrigation so I can run water on it this evening and hopefully keep some of that topsoil from blowing away now that it's uncovered. Of course, it wasn't windy and the moment I decided to come outside and do some work, the wind starts picking up. But what I have is an Excel wobbler from Senager. I'm using the gray um, little nozzle thing and I have a mid-rise one just because I do have a lot of wind so I want to keep the um, water lower to the ground so it actually makes it to my plants. Um, I've concocted this little um, half inch pipe uh, that I've got this all down to and then I have the attachments to run the irrigation line. All right like I said as soon as I come out to do something, the wind picks up. So I had to get on my hat. Basically what I've done is I've laid out my measuring tape and I'm going to measure, I'm putting one, two sprinklers along here. One at about 16 feet and one at about 32 feet. I'm just using these little garden U-posts to help hold up my PVC sprinkler. So what I need to do is cut right here so that I can attach um, this into the middle here. Now I could probably just do this with regular scissors, but I have this tool, so why not use it? So now I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, quick connect um, uh, thing from Drip Depot and I'm going to use it to connect the tubing, the quarter inch tubing here, to my um, PVC pipe. Um, it has a hose thread on one end and the irrigation drip line thread on the other. It's not permanent and so that's kind of nice if I have a situation later or I need to change around the irrigation stuff. It's a little hard right now with my arthritis. So hopefully you can see now I have my T here and I'm just gonna take it, put it up to the U post and then I'm just gonna use a zip tie to go ahead and attach the PVC pipe to the U post, a temporary and easily changeable thing. Okay, so what I have is a valve there at the end so I can flush the line if I need to. A valve right here if I need to turn off the water and work on this sprinkler head or make adjustments there. And my irrigation line runs down through the length of the beds and then I have it um, over here to my other sprinkler and then beyond there I run all the way down to a hose connection um, that I may change later on but right now it works. And then this hose runs down into kind of a mess of hoses right now and to my new timer that I just recently got. I'm still trying to figure this out. So I'm actually going to take the hose off the timer and see if the pipes are working fine. Here we go. Noticing from this side that this edge of the beds are not getting as much water. So what I think I'm going to have to do is move that um, sprinkler over there over about a foot or two to hit these areas. Well there you have it. <laughs> An amateur's guide to setting up irrigation. I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited because now I can water my garlic more often and get that growing. And I'm sure I'll make adjustments and changes as more things go in for drip line and different things like that. But 
We've got water.